three steps to experience your goals. Hello, I'm Ranjan Kumar, founder of Mystic Fusion International and Authentic Self Leadership Coach. Well, I've been making a couple of videos on Authentic Self Leadership and uh, first things first, I would like to thank you very much for the encouragement, for the support you have been giving and for the personal messages that I've been receiving from you all and the love that you're sharing on my personal WhatsApp number and uh, Facebook Messenger and the kind of uh, reviews and feedbacks that I've got are really, really encouraging. And uh, this is what I've been always feeling. When you start speaking what you really have in your heart, people who really want to align with it will definitely get aligned. And I've been seeing how people have been aligning with it and people have been realizing that, uh, you know, of course, there is, you know, deep down, in spite of all the sense of achievement and sense of accomplishment that we have all been uh, trained to chase, deep down, we have been craving for authenticity. Deep down, we all realize that we are not getting an opportunity to be who we truly are. And when you start moving inward, when you start looking inward, when you start making that journey inward, that's exactly when you start realizing that it's been a futile journey outward. Everything that you have been looking for is actually within. And hence, all those goals that you have been looking for are also within. Exactly, yes, you know, we have not been, uh, we have not been trained on how to look inward or probably each time we made a small effort to look inward, we got scared. There are hundreds of reasons for getting scared when you start looking inward and I agree with you that, in that. So in this video, I wanted to share with you the experience of how can you experience the goals from the being center and how can you experience this goal how can you manifest these goals when you operate from authenticity and authentic self-leadership and this is exactly what i wanted to present why don't you think about it in this way that what happens when you achieve your goal let's assume for a few seconds what do you think are the first few th things that happen when you achieve your goal, when you make that big accomplishment that you have been trying to make for the last 10 years, for the last 5 years, or for the last 6 months? What are the first few things that happen? Close your eyes and think for a moment. The first responses that come from you, what are they? And we might think that it's, you know, they come in the field or uh, they come in the form of, you know, outward rewards, external rewards, certifications, you know, praises from others, appreciations from others. But even before that, the moment you know that you have achieved what you have been dreaming to achieve, there are three things that instantly happen to you and they are you start thinking in a certain way you start feeling in a certain way and you start behaving in a certain way assuming that you know you wanted you have a you have a dream of speaking in a stadium filled with 2000 3000 people and if you have, you have been cherishing this dream for a very long time you did everything that you want to do about it and one fine day you found yourself in this big stadium facing thousands of people and you you know deep down that this is exactly what you have been waiting for to be you know a, a speaker influencing thousands of lives in such a big crowd so the moment you do that and you have you have delivered your talk when you come out when you get back to your home what happens what happens within and the first few things that happen within are you start thinking in a certain way you start feeling in a certain way and you start behaving in a certain way things inside change for you but then since you have you always knew that you have been chasing this goal the moment you know that you have achieved this you feel like why did it take so long for you to reach here and that's because 
you prevented yourself from thinking that way from feeling that way and from behaving that way unconsciously for that duration of time until you reached that goal but my question to you is what stopped you from thinking that way or what stopped you from feeling that way and what was preventing you to behave in a certain way experiencing that goal well i am not talking about visualization here i am not talking about that synthetic visualization here i am talking about the natural capacity of us to think in a certain way to feel in a certain way and to behave in a certain way i know i can understand you know if you are listening to this this is a little ab- abstract but if you stay with me probably together we are going to explore it and it's going to be an adventurous journey so i would want you to look at it this way if you have a certain goal or a list of goals and you think that you need to do something to be there then probably this is what i have been advocating for a very long time through all my lectures and videos and my workshops and seminars authentic self leadership is about being first and doing next so looking at this approach which i have been advising is i am reminded of a saying that problems cannot be solved or problems can never be solved at the same level of consciousness at which they are created so in order for a solution to come in order for a result to come the change has to come at the level of your consciousness or rather the awareness of the uh, you know situation so what can we do to become somebody in order to attract the results which you have been chasing to create and i said and as i said authentic self leadership is a counter intuitive way to create greater resourcefulness resilience and results now how do you create greater resourcefulness resilience and results through this approach and here's how you can do it what is what do you do when you are when you write down a goal let's assume that you have a habit of doing that what is the first thing that you do and we have been taught that you know the moment you write down a goal in your notepad find out for solutions look for people who can help you look for resources that you can bring in look for networking groups that you can join or you know start exploring your mobile number and you know mobile numbers and contacts and look for who you can get into touch with or identify the uh, experts and start emulating them so these are all things which tell you what to do but there is there is an easier way there is a simpler way and there is a very natural way of doing if you want to call it and that is the moment you write down or the moment you bring it to your mind about your goal ask yourself these three questions and time and again i come back to questions because i want to be very clear here getting back to that real self is all about asking bold questions and i hope you will agree with me that our lives are the answers to the kinds of kind of questions that we put to ourselves and i want you to remind you at this point that whatever is happening irrespective of good or bad whether you like it or you dislike it whatever is happening is a result and it's a result of the kind of questions that you have been asking yourself and if you put your hand on your heart and listen to your heart deep down you will know there is a certain kind of language that you speak to yourself there is a level of questions that you ask to yourself and that shows the degree of results that we manifest in our result, in our life and hence i would time and again invite you to ask certain questions 
which would only make your journey easier to be your best self or to be your authentic self which i call as the best self now the first question that you must ask yourself is how would i think if i achieved this goal ask yourself whatever the goal be whatever your dream be first question ask yourself how would i think if i achieved this goal how different would it be from how i am thinking right now what all will be different about my thinking and then i don't advise you to find solutions which we have you have to be very cautious about it you know we have been brought up in a culture where we run for solutions and in authentic self leadership we wait for the answers to emerge and if you want to explore this you need to have real guts you need to have courage and you need to have the courage to patiently wait for some solid real answers to emerge so once you ask yourself this question i want you to sit silently i want you to meditate for 5 minutes or 10 minutes or just take a walk in the park or on the top of your house or terrace anywhere relax you don't have to craft a beautiful answer for it i'm asking you to just ask a question and make space put yourself this question the moment you ask you ask this question by default your brain does its job you know it starts producing answers manufacturing answers initially but most of these answers which emerge you know surface initially remember these are answers which are also at the surface level and where are these surface level answers come from these are also uh, these are all answers you know that you have intellectually crafted your brain has manufactured from the basic resources pieces of information it had so give a little time relax take a walk meditate give enough time and probably i would advise you to make this a last question before you retire to bed for 5 minutes just just for 5 minutes give yourself some space mental space relax and ask this question and let go just let go and your brain has its new task now it starts digging deeper and bringing out some real answers at times you might not be able to comprehend or interpret the answer but deep down you will know it through experience and when you start doing this repeatedly you start making a practice of creating space for the kind of thoughts that you need to experience that goal which you have been chasing to experience i hope you see the point and the moment you start thinking in a certain way you start attracting that goal towards you by being that person who deserves this goal this is a little abstract but i want to draw your attention to this the moment you start thinking in a certain way you start becoming the person who merits and who who, who deserves this goal and the goal gradually starts moving towards you but i don't say i don't say it's a miracle or a magic this is exactly how we are designed to work in this universe the next thing the next question that you must ask yourself is how would i feel once i achieve this goal how would i feel and start you know experiencing that you know how would you feel if you if you if you're done with this goal? what would be different in your feelings and i would want you to draw your attention towards your body and start noticing where do you feel that 
which part of your body is responding and reacting to this new feeling that you are making space to emerge i am not saying please be cautious i am not saying you manufacture the feeling i am saying you just be the observer i am saying you be the witness i am saying you just be that awareness which is observing what is happening in your body which parts you have this sensation which is experiencing you know the feeling of having achieved this goal and draw your attention just feel it i'm not asking you to do something with it i'm just requesting you to be there be there in that feeling you don't have to be judgmental about it you don't have to make any comments about it you don't even have to define it which usually we do i just want you to feel that and bring your whole of your awareness there and just be there and probably this you can repeat on the second night you can you know ask this question at 5 minutes before you retire to bed how would i feel if i achieved this goal and let go and then your body does something intelligent something it has been made to do and it starts getting you into that feel that natural feel of having achieved this goal just be there relax the moment you start doing that you are elevating your sense of awareness you are increasing your level of awareness and you start creating more space for the goal to be drawn towards you and i i and i want to remind you that you don't have to intensify this consciously rather i'm saying the the highest thing that you can do is just be there feel it enjoy it experience it and notice what's happening in your body your mind your overall energy level and just be there the third question i want you to ask is how would i behave when i achieved this goal how would i behave what would i do what would i do differently what what's a new thing that new way that i would be responding to situations what's the new way that i would be physically behaving mentally behaving and spiritually behaving what would be different about me when i have achieved this goal isn't this the real question now you aren't actually running for a bungalow you are running for that feeling that you will get when you will be in that bungalow you aren't running for that car you are running for that you are running for that car you know the feeling that you will experience or the thoughts that you will think or the behavior that you will behave in a certain way once you manifest this car in your life ask yourself isn't that a reality but the question is do you have to wait that long to think feel and behave in a certain way i'm sure no and i'm i'm sure you will experience this with this little experiment that i've given you tonight i want you to do this experiment identify one of your major goals and ask yourself how would i think if i achieve this goal how would i feel if i achieve this goal and how would i behave if i achieve this goal i'm sure you will have your own answers but well, i'm not giving your answers and authenticity is not about giving somebody's answers authenticity is about you as much as it is about me and for that real experience there is no definition i'm sure you will agree that if i define things for you probably that will be my experience and my definition and that's exactly what i am advocating not to do yes 
we can make some suggestions and yes we can we can suggest a few paths and experiments but you are the real explorer you are that real adventurer and i know that this is the only way probably the easiest way rather not only way this is the easiest way to go back to go within to grow within well as i said this is a philosophy of my life and my organization mystic fusion international go within to grow within i'm sure you're going to enjoy these experiments little mystical experiments but this is how we bring in we bring out the best self which is which is which is waiting for us to tap it i'm sure you're going to enjoy this counter intuitive way and i'm there with you on this journey if you haven't subscribed to my channel i would advise you to do that i would request you to do that i would invite you to do that and probably like it and share it with your loved ones thank you so much love you.